Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Ronald. I will share with you on how to submit your Singapore arrival card and what are the things that you need to note when submitting. Hi guys, welcome back. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I have a lot of videos about travel tips. Travel guys to Singapore for you. Singapore arrival card is an electronic arrival card with health declaration. It replaces the disembarkation paper. It can be found in this website eservices.ica.gov.sg slash SG arrival card. You need to submit two days before you arrive in Singapore or three days within your arrival date. If you are arriving on the 20th, you can start submitting on the 18th day of the month. All travelers entering Singapore needs to submit arrival card except those transit passenger or who has a connecting flight. Next are those Singapore residents that are traveling via land. For example, you are coming from Malaysia, you don't need to submit your arrival card. You can submit your arrival card in two ways. It's either my ICA app or the website Singapore Arrival Card. But if you ask me, I prefer the website because you don't need to install the app. But the good thing about ICA app, your profile or record will be in the app itself. You don't need to retype everything again except for the accommodation and address in Singapore. For long-term pass holder working in Singapore, resident of Singapore or Singaporeans, it will be easier for you to submit your Singapore arrival card. You just need to submit your FIN number and then that's it. You will receive an email. So let me show you how to submit if you are entering Singapore as a tourist. Okay, so first, open your internet browser, your Google or Safari, Singapore Arrival Card. Visit the first result, Immigration Checkpoint Authority. The, this one is from ICA Singapore. And then scroll down. Select Submit Online. So for visitors, tourists, we will use the one on the right side. There are actually two things here that you need to focus on. It's either individual submission or group submission. So let me show you what is individual submission first. Key in the full name in your passport. If your name is arranged from top to bottom, like first name, middle name, or last name, just follow the pattern in your passport. And also take note that the letters here are in full capital or in full caps. So key in your passport number, your date of birth, just choose the one in the calendar, and your citizenship. You can choose from this drop down menu or type in your nationality. I'll use Filipino. And then press confirm. Next one is your gender. So choose either male or female. Your passport expiry or your when will your passport be valid. So normally it should be 6 months valid. Place of birth. I am from Philippines. So choose the country of your residence or which country you are from. Like for example, in Philippines, there are a lot of region here. So just choose accordingly. So the email address again, it will be in capital letters. This is for tutorial purposes only. Just confirm your email, country code, your phone number. If you're not sure about your, your country code, you can Google it. Press continue. So this is your arrival date, click in the calendar icon, so you can just choose either from these three dates, mode of travel, you can use air, land, or sea. If you're coming from flight, use air. If you're taking ferry from Indonesia, you can choose sea. Press confirm. So next, you need to key in your, your travel information. So choose commercial flight by air and then flight code 
which air airline you are taking, Jetstar, and then your flight number based on your ticket or your boarding pass. So there are three types of accommodations here. Hotel, other, and residential. So hotel, just choose hotel and then search for the name of your hotel here. You can also type which hotel you are going. If you are choosing residential, make sure you know the address, block number, street name, and so on. If you are traveling to Singapore for one day only and you don't have any address, you can choose others and then day trip. Last city port of before Singapore. So I am coming from Philippines, so I will put Philippines here. Make sure to choose the correct city that you came from. So next city or port of embarkation. If you have another trip, you're going to Malaysia or Korea, you can put it here. But if you are going back to Philippines after this, just choose same as last city. Date of departure. This one is your return date in Philippines. So if you have a 5-day trip, for example, I am arriving on the 10th of June, my return date is on the 15th. And then just answer accordingly. No. Health declaration. Do you have any symptoms? Press no. So these are the countries that you need a yellow vaccine certificate. If you visited this country, declare it. If not, press no. And then press next. If you want to add another trip, if you know the dates when you are arriving in Singapore, you can add here in the add trip. But for now, let's choose next. So review all your information if it's correct and then press continue. You need to key in the CAPTCHA or the code. So you will receive two emails in total. So the first one is the acknowledgement email from ICA. Once you arrive in Singapore, you will wait another one day or one and a half day you will receive the second email which is welcome to Singapore. Tourists, it doesn't mean if your return ticket is ending on next week, you are granted 30 days staying here in Singapore. If you want to learn more about extending your visit pass, you can check my other videos. If you find this video helpful, please do share it with your friends or family who are entering in Singapore. And if you haven't subscribed, please do it will help me grow my channel if you're still here thanks for watching and i will see you on my next video